You won't find this homestyle favorite in any Chinese restaurant. Fluffy eggs smothered in a fresh tomato sauce, made by moms, loved by many. Hey everyone, I'm Flo, dude is behind the camera, and we're all about simple food, simple faith. Growing up, my maternal grandmother used to make tomato with beef, and it was my absolute favorite. Then, when I was 10, my paternal grandmother moved here from China and lived with us. And she would make tomato with eggs. Oh my goodness, I was so appalled. I have to say, this was not one of my childhood favorites, but I've grown up since then, and this simple recipe is one of our favorites now. It's really warm here today, and so I wanna get the cooking done quickly in and out of the kitchen, and this is one of those dishes that just comes together really fast. So let's get started. I'm using six eggs today. This is our main dish. We won't have any meat today, so this is our protein. And you can use as many eggs as you like. We are finding that the ratio of one egg to one tomato for this dish works really well. But if you want more eggs than tomato, you can do that as well. Or if you like it to be more tomato-y than eggy, then you can do that as well. Just either lessen the amount of eggs or increase the amount of tomatoes. And you just want to lightly beat it. Okay, I'm just gonna set that aside. I'm also using two green onions. They were kind of ugly, so I've already kind of chopped them up. But I'm gonna cut these down a little bit further and I'm gonna cook the white and the light green parts together with the ginger. And then the green one, the dark green, is gonna be used as garnish. Yeah, good enough la. I have a small piece of ginger here, kind of thumb size, and I'm just gonna smash it up, bruise it. I just want the flavor of it in my oil. If you prefer to eat the ginger, you can always cut it up into little matchsticks or slices, totally up to you. If you're gonna leave the skin on your ginger, make sure to clean it really well. Otherwise, you can always remove the skin as well. Super easy to do with a, well, I use the back of a knife, but people have told me that that's dangerous. You should use a spoon instead. I have six Roma tomatoes. So I find like this size goes well with my one-to-one -one ratio for eggs. You can use whatever tomatoes you like. So small tomatoes, big tomatoes, just kind of estimate how much you would like to add to your eggs. Just gonna take out the core. And I usually like to cut them kind of on one side of the core so that I don't have to take the core out of both sides of the tomato because I'm kind of lazy like that. Or, not lazy, efficient. <laughs> oh brother. I'm just gonna cut them down a little bit more. You can cut them however you like. I'm just gonna cut them into chunks. So I find if I cut them into fours, they're too small. Cut them in half, they're too big. So I'm just gonna cut them into thirds. All right, heating up my wok on medium heat or medium high. And I'm using a wok today, but if you don't have one, you can always use a large frying pan. I like using the wok because it's big and I can toss all my ingredients together. And when, whenever we're doing a Chinese type of stir fry, it's always good to have all your ingredients ready to go because the cooking process goes really fast. As soon as you see a wisp of smoke, it's when to add your oil. I'm adding two tablespoons of cooking oil. I'm just using, I think it's canola oil today. And adding all my eggs. So when you're cooking with a well, stainless steel pan, so long as you heat up your pan really well before adding your oil, nothing should stick. You wanna cook your egg until it's just mostly cooked. Turn off the heat, remove my egg, put it back in the bowl, 
that I had it in. See, nothing stuck. Okay, turning the heat back on, this time just up to medium. Adding one tablespoon of oil. And I'm gonna get my ginger going. You know what, if you don't like ginger, you don't have to add it. I like the flavor of ginger in this dish and the light green and white parts of the green onion. And I'm gonna cook this for about 30 seconds, just until you can start smelling the ginger. We're gonna add our tomatoes, seasoning with about a teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of soy sauce, two tablespoons of water. In water you can add as little or more if you like, depending on how uh, juicy your tomatoes are. Three tablespoons of ketchup. And one tablespoon of sugar. The sugar is to take away the tartness of the tomatoes. If you don't want to add sugar, you don't have to. Just toss this around a little bit. Okay, and then we're going to put a lid on. We're gonna let that cook for about two minutes. Okay, I'm also going to make my cornstarch slurry now. So about a teaspoon of cornstarch. Adding a tablespoon of water. Make sure the water is room temperature or cold water. Otherwise your cornstarch will not thicken. Two minutes it's up. All right. We're just gonna make a well in the middle and add our cornstarch slurry. to thicken up the sauce. And if you want it to be more saucy, you can always add more water. And we're gonna add our eggs back in. I'm gonna heat this through. Just chop it up a little bit. Look at that. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. Turning your stove off, add your green onions. Kind of heat that through a little bit. The heat of the dish. And that is all there is to it. All right, oh my goodness. This makes a, quite a bit. This will serve for, I mean, you think about it, one and a half eggs per person and one tomato per person isn't very much, plus rice. Oh, and you want to, might want to pick out that ginger if you don't want it in there. You know, guys, I give you all these options for how you can make each dish because I don't want you guys necessarily to follow a recipe, but to know that you can cook, you can adjust the ingredients to your liking. And so if you want more eggs, you can add more eggs or uh, use less tomatoes or vice versa. If you want it to be more tomatoey, you can do that. If you like garlic, add garlic and it would enhance that dish for you. Whatever flavors you enjoy, that's what you put into the dishes. So I'm here to teach you how to cook, not to follow recipe, because anyone can do that. Are you all ready for? Yes. Ooh, that looks so good. Oh yeah, the taste. You know, as a kid, I didn't really like tomatoes in my food. Um, you know, maybe just, uh, just one of the eggs on their own. But as you get older, as I'm getting older, the taste, my uh, preferences have, are changing and I'm liking these real simple uh, home style flavors. And I'm glad that we're getting into these recipes because I tell you, with the cost of food and just time crunch in general, getting quick meals and not trashy food on the table for your family, that's a win every time in my books. So let's get into this. Copy, get down. Oh. 
We have an intruder on the set. Hey girl, time to get down. <laughs> Still, I am a big fan of eggs of any variety. Mm, good. The creaminess of the egg just enveloping the rice. Oh, eggs are creamy. The right balance of acidity and the flavors and the sugar doesn't come across as sweet at all. Oh. <laughs> Meow is so good. <laughs> mm. And tomatoes. Oh. Great combination of flavors and texture. Home style Chinese food from moms for the win. Awesome. Thanks, dude. Mm. Yeah. Remember guys, just adjust the ingredients to your liking. Remember, you're eating this, not me. This recipe will be in my upcoming new cookbook that we're working on. But in the meantime, you can check out tomato and beef. That's in Chinese Homestyle.